Welcome to my SU News Channel. Mary Earps wins BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award, Lioness goalkeeper storms to victory ahead of Stuart Broad and Katerina Johnson-Thompson. England goalkeeper Mary Earps has been named BBC Sports Personality of the Year 2023. The Manchester United shotstopper won the 70th edition of the award in a public vote at the annual ceremony at Media City UK in Salford tonight. Cricketer Stuart Broad finished in second place, while athlete Katerina Johnson-Thompson was third. Earps was on a six-person shortlist for the main award alongside Broad, Johnson Thompson, wheelchair tennis player Alfie Hewitt, jockey Frankie Dettori and golfer Rory McIlroy. The 30-year-old was the favorite to win the award after starring at the World Cup for the Lionesses, conceding just four goals in their run the final and winning the Golden Glove Trophy. Earps is the second straight Lioness to win Sports Personality of the Year after teammate Beth Mead earned the prize last year, and the third consecutive woman to come out on top with Emma Raducanu winning it back in 2021 off the back of her unexpected U.S. Open victory. After picking up the award from ice dancers Torville and Dean, Earp said on stage, I'd like to say how humbled I am to be on a list of such incredible athletes, sport is a fantastic thing where it brings the world together, to hear you guys talk about your journeys, I think it's unbelievable. Thanks for voting for me, everybody who voted for me, this is the ultimate all-round sporting accolade. It's not been the easiest journey and I definitely wouldn't be here today without a number of incredible people. Thank you so much to my teammates and coaches, I wouldn't be here without you all. The shotstopper was voted as England Women's Player of the Year and helped Manchester United finish second in the Women's Super League last season with 14 clean sheets. Earps, who famously saved a penalty in the World Cup final, also hit the headlines when she spoke about the hurt, she felt that sportswear manufacturer Nike had not made her England goalkeeper's replica jersey available to purchase before the tournament. Elsewhere, snowboarder Mia Brooks was named BBC Young Sports Personality of the Year 2023. The 16-year-old became the youngest world champion in the sport, and Britain's first in slopestyle, when she won gold in February. The Unsung Hero Award was given to Desmond Smith, chairman of Sheffield's Caribbean Sports Club. Smith created his own club after coming to the UK in the 1960s and has given back to his community over the last 60 years. Fatima Whitbread won the Helen Rollison Award, having dedicated her life to try and ensure that children never go through the experiences that she went through, after being abandoned as a baby before spending 14 years in children's homes. Speaking to a standing ovation, Fatima said, this is a very, very special award. Helen was a friend, now she's given me the chance to stand here and speak for our children. I stand here to celebrate our children and the resilience they show. Children are our future. I am calling for fundamental change, so that their future is happier and healthier, and that they may one day reach their full potential too. I am working hard to try and rejuvenate the care system sector. In the 60 years since I was in the care system, I have seen governments come and go and not a lot has changed. It's so important that we work together to build better, happier lives. We all need to feel seen and valued and these children are no different. Manchester City striker Erling Holland was the winner of BBC's World Sports Star Award. Former Liverpool player and manager Kenny Dalglish received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the ceremony. Holding back the tears, Dalglish said, we'll treasure this dearly. It's really a thank you speech to everyone, no more than the people here. All we did at football was to try and make people happy. The best way to make people happy is to get results. Thankfully, we were able to do that a few times. For me, it's not about taking part, it's about winning. Holland City teammates won Team of the Year, having won the treble in the 2022-2023 season, while manager Pep Guardiola was named Coach of the Year. Second-placed Broad announced he was retiring from cricket during the fifth Ashes Test in the summer and bowed out in spectacular fashion. The 37-year-old hit a six off his final ball and took the final wicket as England won the match to level the series, though Australia retained the urn. The cricket legend told Lanker, the emotion, brings out the best in me. It, the ashes, was so competitive, and I love that part of it. To be able to have mom, dad, family, and friends down at the Oval, I remember just seeing the faces in the crowd, it was really special just walking off. Cricket is my greatest hobby so I want to stay in it. I'll definitely stay part of the cricket family. Johnson Thompson claimed the World Heptathlon title for the second time in Budapest in the summer after a calf injury wrecked her hopes of Olympic glory in Tokyo in 2021. She was the first nominee to take to the stage, thanking her support team for getting her through her lowest moments. She said, going into this year, I had nothing to lose. I had seen rock bottom. I didn't want the perception of me to be what you saw in Tokyo. When I came back from those Olympics there was a lot of sympathy, and my main mantra was I'm not going to go out like this. 
I want that, Olympic gold, for myself, next year, dot. Dottori, 53, secured a series of big wins in his farewell year in UK racing including the 2000 Guineas on Chaldean and the Oaks on Soul Sister. He is set to continue riding in the United States next year. The jockey was not in the studio for the award show but is instead enjoying a family holiday in France. He said, to me, I'm already a winner. I already feel a winner to be a nominee. Other than Stuart Broad, all of the others weren't even born when I started riding. On why he is not retiring, Dottori explained, wherever I went, I kept on winning. I got to August, and I thought, am I doing the right thing here? I thought, I can't really carry on in England because they did so many farewells for me, so I emigrated to the USA because it's the last chance to continue. The desire for winning is still there. Sorry everyone, I made a mistake, I shouldn't have said I was going to retire. Tennis player Hewitt won seven wheelchair tennis singles tournaments in 2023 including the Australian and US Open titles. He also secured the doubles titles at the Australian and French Opens plus Wimbledon alongside partner Gordon Reed. Hewitt tells Balding, tennis means everything to me. It really opened up a massive opportunity that I didn't see at the time. I was a seven-year-old who couldn't accept my disability. I felt like I got myself back again. To be on the stage tonight getting recognition, I really am grateful. In my eyes, I wouldn't be where I am today without those people in my corner. My family have been my biggest fans since day one. My team, they really are incredible. McElroy was a key part of Europe's victorious Ryder Cup winning team in October and finished in the top 10 at three of the year's four majors. Tommy Fleetwood took to the stage on his behalf and hailed McElroy as a great leader. Fleetwood hit the winning putt at the Ryder Cup and admits it was a very special moment. Source, DailyMail.com Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.